Hello and welcome to another video. I'm here practicing for a big match I have coming up and for this match I'm going to need many different methods in my armory. Meat will play a massive part in this match so I'm here today at local club water practicing a couple of ways to use this bait. The baits I've got with me today uh, like I said meat. I've got a pint of 6mm meat and a pint of 8mm meat. As well as this I have hemp. Hemp is a fantastic bait matched with meat. The reason why I use hemp when feeding meat is I found it's a great way to draw fish into your peg as well as when you do feed it and fish move in the fish tend to stay occupied in your swim for much longer. So they're the baits. I've been fishing about half an hour or so and I've already had a couple of fish on the bottom. I fed half a pot full of meat and hemp, 50-50 ratio. These fish are only small, pound, pound and a half fish, but I've had two or three. And all I'm doing is, as you can see, I've got a catapult here. This is going to play a massive part today, because I'm feeding 6mm meat over the top of my float. I don't, don't want to be using the big pot again. I want to all keep it loose fed over the top. Because for this big match I have coming up, I might try and catch a few bonus fish shallow using meat. Now many people use pellets when fishing shallow and I find they're missing out on a lot more fish because meat sinks so much more, so much slower than pellets and I think it's a much better attractant. It's a light colour, the fish can see it from a mile off as well as the smell. So that's how I'm going to be fishing today. Let me just quickly run you through the rigs I'm using. Right. The bottom rig, I've got a 13 hollow because I'm fishing for bigger fish uh, next week when I've got the big match so I want to get used to playing fish fairly quickly. So 13 hollow, 015 mainline, I've got a PB carp 4 float in a 4x12. I'm using a 4x12 today because there's no wind, so I don't, usually if it's windy on this lake, I use 4x14s. Going down, it's about, I suppose, three and a half, four foot deep. I've got a bulk of four number nines. They're strung out. And then I've got an 013 hook length, which is Preston power line, very strong line. And a 16 808 hook, which is perfect for six mil meat. Right, now the shallow rig. This is a rig that I'm hoping to catch the bigger fish on. Probably not as many, but when the fish come shallow, you tend to catch a lot. I'm using a slightly lighter elastic because the bites, the fish will pull the float under and hopefully pull the tip under the water. I need a nice soft elastic to sort of take the pressure off the fish. So that's an 11 hollow my favourite elastic for commercial shallow fishing. Again I've got an 015 mainline. The float is a PB Carp 2 4x10. Now it's a perfect shallow float, nice and short and I've got, coming down I've got two, two number nines that just pimple that right down. And then I've got an 013 hook length and hook wise I've got a size 18 Preston PR36 with a hair rigged quick stop. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering why I'm not just hooking the meat, and that's because you miss a lot of bites. As well as this, meat is a very soft bait, so by quick stopping it, it just ensures that the meat stays on. If I miss a bite, I know my meat's going to still be on the hook. Right, I'm fishing the shallow rig at about a foot and a half depth, so probably mid-water. And from past experience, I know in this lake, this that's probably the best depth to catch these carp shallow. Right, so that's the talk. I've already fed the swim, 
So all I'm going to do, put a 6mm cube of meat on the hook, ship out to 13 metres and hopefully catch another carp. You may notice there's a few bubbles coming up just where the, the fish are in the area looking for bait, feeding over that hemp and meat. Oh, there we go. That's a good bite. And we're into another fish. Definitely a few fish out there now. The swim's bubbling up nicely. Continue loose feeding 6mm meat into the area just to keep the fish in the swim and hopefully later on we'll catch a few fish shallow. really important if you're aiming to catch fish shallow you need to keep feeding the swim it's a lot of hard work but it really does pay off the more you put into it the more you get out there we go half decent fish a few ducks about today there we go. Oh, and he's still fighting in the net. Fish of about two and a half pound. Lovely fish. All I'm going to do is, while he's in the net, just put a little bit more meat into the swim. Just so hopefully I can go out there and catch another straight away. Right, so we've had a few fish now on the bottom and I'm starting to get a few more signs that the fish are starting to move up in the water. I've seen a couple of swells as I'm loose feeding, so that's a really good sign. So, I can't resist. I'm going to have to pick up my shallow rig and try catch a carp up in the water. There we go, brilliant bite. You can see why I'm using 11 hollow, just to cushion that first run, because the fish, when you hook fish shallow, they always shoot off at first. He's still fighting, all I'm gonna do is get another pouch full of meat out there, just until he calms down. I think he's about ready now. So now I can focus on playing and hopefully landing this fish. I don't think it's a massive fish. It's great fun on light elastics. As I'm using a light elastic to cushion that first run, I've got a puller kit and that is a real important thing to have when fishing shallow. You can see there's less elastic out now and this fish is soon going to be in the net, I'm hoping. It feels like a half decent fish, a little bit bigger than the others. trying to snag me up there. He's not huge, I'm surprised he's still fighting. 
There we go. Our first shallow caught carp. Brilliant stuff. It's hard work fishing shallow. And you know when you've had a good day because you come home absolutely knackered where you've been slapping the float 24-7 and constantly catapulting in bait. But the end result is fantastic. If you get it right, you can have some huge bags of fish. Which is hopefully what's going to happen today. I'd be very happy with 20 or 30 pounds of fish today. Only about two pounds. It was a great bite. Right, I'd just like to spend a minute or so just talking about my rig in greater detail. As you may have noticed, we've started to catch a few fish shallow and the rig is fishing perfectly. When slapping a rig, you want to create noise. Now, many people fish a self-cocking float and that creates two slaps, the float and the hook and the hook bait. But I like to use a float that takes a couple of shots just so I can put, like I've done today, two number nines together. Now when I slap this rig, it creates three nice plops. Now when catapulting bait into the swim, I'm usually feeding three or four pieces of meat. Now this rig, well, not every time I slap it, it seems like loose feed is going into the swim fish will investigate this and there's only one cube of meat and that's my hook bait and within a few seconds it's fish on so that's a theory anyway so let's try it and hopefully we'll catch another Right, well, we've had a few fish shallow. Well, I say a few, we've had a lot shallow. But the swim seems to have died a little bit now. It's nearly the end of the session, but I want one more fish, and I don't feel that I'm gonna catch it shallow. So I'm gonna switch to the on the deck rig and just see if there's any fish down there, which I'm sure we're gonna get a bite fairly quickly. So let's give that a try. Strong fish, yes. It's not particularly big, I don't think. It's really fighting hard. Gone all over the place, this fish is. Only a small one. And that just goes to show how deadly lunch and meat is on commercial fisheries. We've had loads of fish, shallow and on the deck. The bigger fish have been shallow. It's been an awesome session. Let's get some gear packed up and release the fish. What a brilliant day's fishing. 